teachers and to all the students out there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tin May, Shambra, your research teacher for today. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in research. Tagalin, huwag na tayo magpatumpik-tumpik pa. So, dumeretso na tayo sa ating main topic for today. Ang part 2 ng ating lesson vlog noong nakaraan. This is how we get the median in measure of central tendency under the group data. So, let's continue. Okay, now, let us proceed with the median for group data. The median is the middle value in a set of quantities. It separates an ordered set of data into two equal parts. Half of the quantities is located above the median, and the other half is found below it. Whenever the quantities are arranged according to magnitude from highest to lowest. So in computing for the median of group data, the following formula is used. We have the mean is equal to, let us first identify the meaning of each variable. The first one, we have the lower boundary of the median class. Okay, this is this is the lower boundary. And then we have the F, which is the frequency of each class. We have less than CF, which is the cumulative frequency of the lower class next to the median class. And we have the frequency of the median class. And of course, we also have the class interval. So I want you to remember the formula for the median. Okay, now. So let us complete the table first. Lower boundary, 47.5. So paano po nakuha yung 47.5? Lower boundary. So ano ba yung lowest score between 48 and 52? Diba 47? So, ano yung boundary ng lowest score na ito? Okay, syempre, ang kasunod na niyan ay 47. So, ano ba yung boundary ng 47 at 48? And that is 47.5. Kaya siya ay 47.5 for the boundary here. And, how about this one? 43 to 47. What is the lower boundary? Okay, ano ba ito? 43. So, ano yung boundary ng 43 at saka yung next score malapit sa 43? Yung kasunod niyan, which is 42. That is 42.5. And next, yan, 37.5. Okay, and then this one, 33. So, ano ang lower niyan? 32. So, that is 32.5. 28, ano yung kasunod na lower niyan? 27.5. 23, 22.5. 18, 17.5. 13, that is 12.5. And we have 8 which is 7.5. Okay, for the lesson CF, so, less than yan, so, meaning to say, mag-start tayo sa pinaka baba. Cumulative frequency. Diba dun sa nakaraang frequency distribution table, nakuha natin yung CF, yan yung ina-add natin yung previous and current, yung current and previous frequency. So, ano ba yung frequency natin dito? 6. Okay, kaya naman, 6 ang ilalagay natin dito sa baba. So, next, 6 plus 3, that is 9. 9 plus 3, that is 12. 12 plus 6, that is 18. 18 plus 4, ayan, ito yung 4, that is 22. And then, that 22 plus 2, that is 24. 24 plus 1, that is 25. 25 plus 12, that is 37. And 37 plus 3, that is 40. So, look at this. Yung 40 dito, same with the number of, the total number of frequency. Okay. Since kompleto na natin ngayon yung table, next week, kailangan natin hanapin kung alin dyan yung ating median class. Okay? So, the median class is the... The median class is the class with the smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to 
summation of f over 2. The computed median must be within the median class. Okay. So, first, kailangan natin hanapin kung nasaan to. Okay. Ano ba ang, ano ba ang summation ng f over 2? Da, di ba 40 yan? So, isabihin, 40 divided by 2, that is 20. 40 divided by 2, 20. Ngayon, ibig sabihin, sa 40 scores, nasaan kaya dyan yung ika-20 yet na score? Paano natin siya makukuha? Kakailanganin natin itong CF para mahanap natin yung 20. Okay? So, tingnan natin. Dito sa 6, nandyan ba yung ika-20? Obviously, wala. Yung 9, wala din. Kasi 9 pa lang eh. Eh ito, hanggang 12 na, andyan pa ba yung 20? Wala pa rin. 18, nandyan na ba? Wala pa rin. Hindi pa rin dyan papatak yung ika-20 yet na score. Eh how about sa 22? Okay, very good. Nandito sa part na to ibig sabihin nandyan ang ating median class. So, ano nga sabi dito? Ang median class daw dapat yung smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal dito sa summation of f over 2. Eh, di ba 20 nga ito? So, alin dyan yung, alin po dyan yung greater than or equal sa 20? Eh, di ba itong 20? Ito, hindi naman pwedeng 18. Kasi, ang sabi nga ay greater or equal doon sa 20, which is yung summation of f over 2. So, kaya itong 22, yan, itong part na to, yung hanay na yan, yan yung magiging median class natin. Nakakailanganin natin yan para makompute yung ating median class. Okay. So, i-click ko na lang muna yung table. So, ang kailangan na lang muna natin, itong lower boundary at saka itong CF and F and then the, the score. So, again, ayan, nakuha nga natin yung 20, di ba? The 20th score is contained in the class 28 to 32. This means that the median falls within the class boundaries of 28 to 32. And that is 27.5 to 32.5. Okay. So, kailangan natin munang alamin kung ano ba yung mga value na ilalagay natin dun sa computation ng median class. Yung CF natin, since nandito nga tayo, sa ito nga yung median class natin, kasi kailangan natin ng median class kasi dito tayo magbe-base ng mga value na ilalagay natin dun sa formula. Okay, CF is 18. De, eh, bakit po kaya 18? Eh, 22 nga po yung CF dito. Okay, ganito. Kapag sa median class naman, ang kukuhanin natin yung CF, eh, yung nasa baba. Okay? Kung kung, kung baga, ito yung median class mo, pero ang kailangan natin dyan, ano ba yung lower nung CF dun sa median class? Di ba ang nasa baba niya is 18? So, this will be our CF. Okay? Yan yung gagamitin natin CF. Okay, ano naman yung frequency ng median class? O, ito yung F. Ano median class natin? Itong hanay na to. Ano yung F niyan? 4. So, kaya 4 yung gagamitin natin. Lower boundary ng median class. Saan tumapat? 27.5. So, ito yung gagamitin natin na LB. And interval, that is 5. Okay. So, ang medyo nal nal nalito lang kay dito is yung 18. Medyo nakakalito. Kasi nga, ang CF dapat yung lower noong CF. Or lower doon sa median class. Pero class, may mga pagkakataon na baliktad kasi yung table. Itong 8 to 12, ito yung nandito naman. Tapos, 13 to 17, kung magabaliktad, sa halip na nandito sa pinakamaba yung lowest score, nandito inilagay sa taas yung lowest score. So, kapag ganun, ang mangyayari, ang titingnan nyo naman is yung nasa taas ng median class. So, basta dapat yung CF natin ay naandun sa baba, kung ano yung kung ano yung tinapatan ng CF nung mas mababang class nung ating median class, which is 18. Okay, pwede na natin i-substitute. So, ayan na. Ito na yung mga value na kailangan natin i-substitute. We have the 20, 18, 4, 27.5, and 5. Okay, again, this is the formula. 27.5 for the lower boundary. Summation of f over 2, that is 20. Minus 18, our CF. And then, frequency of the median class, that is 4. Interval is 5. So, unahin natin syempre lahat ng nasa parenthesis muna. Ayan. So, okay, 27.5 plus, okay, ito muna unahin natin, 20 minus 18 is 2 divided by 4, and that is 0 0.5. Times 5, which is the interval, so unahin muna natin itong dalawa, 0 0.5 times 5, that is 2.5. 
plus 27.5 and that is 30. Okay, so meaning to say our median is 30. Now, therefore, the median of the scores of students in the 2019 Division Achievement Test is 30. And note that the mission 30 falls within the class boundaries of 28 to 32 and that is 27.5 to 32.5. This is the end of our lesson vlog for part 2 of Mijan for Measure of Central Tendency under ng group data. Sa part 3 ng ating lesson vlog na to, i-discuss naman natin kung paano kumuha ng mode. Okay, paano nga ba kumuha ng mode? So, abangan nyo ang ating part 3 ng topic na to. Again, measure of central tendency pa rin under ng group data. So, stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in research. Bye! This is me again, Teacher Tin. Uy! Last na to. Mag-subscribe ka naman. Subscribe ka na ba? Kung oo, salamat! This is for you!